It's great to have front office insider Mike Tannenbaum and just regular old insider, just regular insider Jeremy Fowler here. Uh, Mike, when, when Minnesota signed Kirk Cousins, right, I thought to myself, okay, maybe he gives you a little premium over Case Keenum. Maybe they – same basket of player. They, they are not going to stop you from losing. If they get hot at the right time, they can help you win. But what a premium they paid. And, and uh, it's, Stefanski was on that coaching staff too. I kind of feel the same thing about Baker and Case Keenum now. Is it a big fall off? It, it really isn't. If we go back to 2017, Case Keenum had a magical year for Minnesota guys, and Kevin Stefanski was on that offensive staff. So – I would not be surprised if he played really well tomorrow night. Now, the key is going to be the backup offensive tackles. They struggled last week against Arizona, which obviously uh, a lot of tackles are. But it's James Hudson and Blake Hentz, two names that aren't household names. And if they can hold up against, obviously, Von Miller and what Vic Fangio is going to do, then I think it's going to become really interesting because if Case Keenan plays well, it's going to make that talented Cleveland Brown front office think, hey, do we have to go ahead and pay Baker Mayfield $40 million if Case Keenum Max plays as well as you just stated? $6 million a year. And by the way, that, that may be the other thing, Jeremy, right? Like, the tackles are down. It's Thursday. Just give him a break for a week. He has the labrum right. situation. Right. Patrick Mahomes was reduced to rubble without his starting tackles. What are you hearing around the Browns organization when it comes to their quarterback situation? Well, the swelling was the issue. Baker Mayfield really wanted to play. He was hoping to be a game-time decision, but both the Browns team doctors and independent doctors said, okay, not so fast. Let's give it a week or two. Hopefully for that Pittsburgh game, October 31st, you can be ready to go. But I was told, and I checked around today, that the Browns feel like they can win this game with Case Keenum. And I was told by a source over there that this is why you pay good backups. This is why you give $6 million to a good player who can be your number two at a key position and hope for the best. Guys, I want to just throw this out there for both of you. Was there a sense around the league that it was mostly Stefanski or some smoke and mirrors or the Minneapolis or Minnesota miracle or whatever, a little bit of luck, a little pixie dust on Case Keenum that year, and he's not really a starter, and that's why, I'll start with you, Jeremy, that's why they, they moved on from Case Keenum? I think it's a little bit of everything, but as Mike T said, he had a banner year. I mean, the guy was pretty explosive. I, I don't get the sense that everybody inside the Minnesota building was sold on Case Keenum. Some were. I think he had affinity with the coaching staff, maybe not so much with the front office. So they said, hey, let's go big with Kirk Cousins, spend the money. Uh, but this is a guy that's capable. You know, didn't work out in Denver, but that doesn't mean it can't work out right here in Cleveland. And, hey guys, there's another way to win this game. The Broncos on offense are 32nd in the NFL on converting third downs. What happens if Cleveland wins a low-scoring game, which is very possible? I just think Case Keenum playing and winning tomorrow night is a really interesting dynamic because it gives the Browns options to say, hey, Baker, we like you, but to a certain point, because we could go win a lot of games. This is a Brown defense on paper that's very talented. They should play better. I think they have a big opportunity tomorrow night because the Broncos have struggled. A lot of upside, little downside. They might lose the game. It's not like they're going to – they would have won with Baker, but they lost with Case Keenum. Hard right. to think of it that way. And in the meantime, give them a bye week. Give Baker a bye week. Let that – maybe they escape with a win. All right, thank you, guys. I know. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.